let's look at the vocabulary from the summary and analysis of H. G. Wells and the Uncertainties of Progress by Peter J. Bowler. Explores. Inquire or discuss in detail. Notion. Belief. Riddled. Solve or explain. Complexities. Intricate or complicated. Virtually. Nearly, almost. Enthusiasts. A person interested in a particular activity or subject. Sustain. Uphold, affirm, or confirm. Degeneration. Decline or deterioration. Catastrophic. Causing sudden great damage. Innovation. A new method, idea, product, etc. Innovation. A new method, idea, product, etc. Inevitable. Certain to happen, unavoidable. Utopia. An imagined place or state. Maritime. Connected with the sea, ships. Aviation. The flying or operating of aircraft. Civilization. The stage of human social and cultural development. Savagery. Being fierce or cruel. Rational. Practical. Triumph. Great victory or achievement. Legion. A vast number of people or things. Peter J. Bowler explores. For Wells the notion of a better future was riddled with complexities. Wells realized that this state of uncertainty would continue indefinitely, making it virtually impossible even for the enthusiasts to predict what would emerge. H. G. Wells worried constantly about the future of humanity, while he hoped for progress in human affairs. He was only too well aware that it might not sustain. Throughout his career he celebrated the technological developments that were revolutionizing life but feared they might lead to eventual degeneration as seen in 1914, a catastrophic war. The definition and idea of progress is always questioned. Providing everyone with the benefits of modern industry might not be enough, especially as continued technological innovation would require the constant remodeling of society. Progressive steps introducing entirely new functions were episodic, open-ended and unpredictable. In both biological and social evolution, it's not easy to predict the innovations of the future or its impacts. For Wells the most basic level of uncertainty arose from the fear that the human race might not sustain its current rate of development. H. G. Wells affirms this with his 1895 story, The Time Machine, and supports the theory of his zoologist friend, E. Ray Lancaster's extension of the Darwinian theory. They are of the view that progress is not inevitable, and any species that adapts itself to a less active and, hence less challenging way of life will degenerate. The Darwinian viewpoint is more clearly visible in Wells. Hugely successful non-fiction work. The Outline of History 1920. Wells entrusts that from the Stone Age onward, there was no predetermined upward trend and the progress did occur in human society. Wells was certain that the driving force was rational thinking, science, and technological innovation. Yet history showed how the benefits of creativity had been undermined by conservative thinking of rulers and social tensions culminating in the disaster of the Great War. Wells was elaborating a new and less deterministic version of the idea of progress. Nineteenth-century idea of progress is not based on an oversimplified model of how development must take place. H. G. Wells along with Marxists and Dunism, who Wells admired to some extent, had all visualized history as the ascent of a ladder of developmental stages leading to a final utopia. Darwinism showed that the history of life was best represented by a branching tree, not a ladder. And Wells now saw that human history, too led to many differing forms of complex society. Wells takes the modern synthesis of science and technology, which he sees as emerging primarily in Europe, as a case in point. For most of its history, 
Europe had not been at the forefront of progress. Yet its development of modern science and industry had catapulted it into world dominance. Wells pointed out the edge of Europe's rise to world dominance. Was its isolated geographical position and its maritime exploration. The result was a culture that eventually promoted not just an industrial revolution, but what Wells called a mechanical revolution, especially the invention of new sources of power including steam and electricity. For Wells it heralded a new thing in human experience. Such a change in human life has to constitute a fresh phase of history. This kind of development, however, brought problems with it. Technology was misused for military purposes. And the Great War illustrated its potentially catastrophic consequences. In the years before a war broke out, Wells had been one of the first to realize that new technologies such as aviation would make future conflicts even more devastating. This was the theme of his novel The War in the Air of 1908. While the world set free of 1914, predicted the latest discoveries of atomic physics, but also an atomic bomb, in the post-war era Wells, was one of many worrying that the next war might destroy civilization altogether. His futuristic 1933 novel The Shape of Things to Come, described the outbreak of a war that reduces most of the world to savagery. Yet Wells retained the hope that a small coterie of technocrats, led by the aviation experts, would survive and ultimately recreate society along more rational lines, ushering in the age of true progress. Wells had very definite plans for the future and he promoted in his books the long-standing campaign for a rationally ordered world state that would ensure the fruits of technological innovation were fairly distributed. Invention would continue and society would have to keep adjusting in response to it. Wells was the first to realize that the military applications of aviation, the war and the air, will dominate the world. Technologies will pull society in different directions. And it is hard to be sure which will triumph in the industrial struggle for existence. The speed of change is also hard to predict. This he stated in his novels like Anticipations. The Sleeper Awakes. He called for the universities to have professors of foresight to grapple with the unintended consequences posed by future inventions. The range of technologies that have turned out to have harmful side effects is now legion, a situation that Wells himself anticipated.